Hi everyone, Shane R. Monroe here, and if there's one thing I can always count on is my loyal fan base jumping into the comments section of my latest video to tell me how wrong I am. So, this is a uh, retraction video, if you will, about the RF port, aka the headphone jack, aka the line out, aka the optical out port right here on the Commodore 64U. So I plugged in a pair of these Sennheisers and uh, obviously you saw in the video, they worked fine. But I was told that line outs shouldn't be used with headphones because of the way that they draw a signal from the port, you should be using some form of amplifier instead. So I reached out to find something that you could easily buy from Amazon, overnight shipping for a decent price. This is uh, about 20 bucks, I think maybe even a little less. Last time I quoted prices, my on-screen alter ego told me what a fool I was. But this is an affordable solution. It also happens to be a portable and rechargeable solution, so you might be able to get some other usage out of this as well. So here we have it. This is a very small amplifier. We have here our eighth inch jack that we were looking at before, right? So one side goes into the computer, one side goes into the input here, and then of course you plug your headphones into the output. Right, and then you have a nice little volume control here. Now you see there's already charge in here, there's a battery in here. So we already have a working solution. Now there's a high gain and a low gain, there's a charging light, and of course, oh, it's micro USB. Ugh. Why can't we ever get rid of that? So we have that, which kind of sucks, but it does come with a cable, so you don't have to worry about producing that. Unfortunately, this plug sucks, and I've got changers to change it to USB-C, but that still sucks. So depending on the um, gain of your headphones, you'll use high or low, um, and that's it. I mean, this is really simple. This is pretty plug and play, folks. I mean, it doesn't really get much easier than that. So now we take this guy, plug it into our line out, not our headphone jack. We plug it into our line out. Why does the why does the um, the volume control on the same side as the plugs? That's very inconvenient. Like, what if I just wanted to kind of put it up here? Ah, whatever. Who cares? So I'm going to turn this guy on. And I've got my headphones. Let's fire it up and see what we got. Let's get some tunes that the kids will enjoy. I don't have any of those, so you'll have to listen to whatever I pull up. So let's see. Let's go find some SIDS. There's got to be another Rob Hubbard piece we could find that'd be good. Didn't he do International Karate Plus? I thought so. Okay, so it does happen to be going through my uh, HDMI port as well, so let's turn that off. Just like I had it before, right? But this time it's safe, apparently. We also have this nice volume control. Ah, see the Sennheisers don't have a volume control. We have a safe, small amplifier that will take our line out signal, boost it and send it to our headphones with the ability to control this audio here. Now, of course, this obviously does not have to be a headphone jack. We could use the speaker. I bought this. I'll leave a link in case you guys are interested in buying the same crap that I have. Got this on a deal, so it may not be in the same deal when I get around to it. So this looks like a USB-C port. Great. All right. This looks a lot like my son's. Like it could be almost identical. Let's see. Let's get rid of this. Wow. It looks really close, doesn't it? So what do we have here? We have our, yeah, we have our line in. But um, not included. Here is my other cable. Plug it in. This should have some juice. They all ship with some power. Power on. Off mode. Now this is possibly a time when we may say that this is a low gain device. Nah, much better. Because this speaker is an amplified device, I don't need this amplifier. I need this for non-amplified destinations like a pair of headphones. It is perfectly safe, however, for me to plug it in here. Now, before we put this whole audio business to bed, I've covered how to take care of your headphones. I've covered how to take care of an external system that doesn't cost a lot of money, but you don't have to do anything special. This line out is now covered and protected by this amplifier, uh, amplified speaker, so we're good. Now, there's one more thing you could do if you're desperate. If you happen to have one of these cables. This is a video cable 
that I was using for my 1702 monitor. Now this plugs into the back of the Commodore 64 and the video is carried on these two plugs. That's right, this plug actually carries audio. This could go right into your receiver or to some other device that has a line in that's an RCA plug. So you always have that as an option as well. So you've got plenty of options and now you're doing it safely. Thanks to the wisdom of my visitors, keep these things coming. Let's keep everybody safe and protected and enjoying their Commodore for as long as they can. That's gonna do it for this episode. I'm Shane Armonroe. Thanks so much for watching, take care. We'll see you next time.